Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we're going to be showing you how to get the most out of your router, how to unlock features that didn't exist and get more customizability than the manufacturer is necessarily willing to give you. We're talking about DDWRT. This is an aftermarket firmware that as long as your router is compatible, you can upload to the point where you are basically using only the hardware that you bought from Linksys or Asus or D-Link or whoever manufactured your router and you're using a completely different set of software with its own completely different set of advantages. In one of our recent episodes, we covered the simplicity of the Linksys interface and the advantage that that gives you, especially if you're buying the router for someone else. But not everyone is doing that, and some people are tech heads who want that customizability. So DDWRT takes that stock firmware, gets rid of it completely, and gives you access to a bunch of cool stuff, like more power out of lower end hardware, and I'm not necessarily saying this router's lower end, this is more of a mid-range router, but it's compatible with a wide variety of different hardware platforms. It gives you better VPN, better quality of service. Remember, most consumer routers don't even have VPN and have very limited quality of service uh, implementations. It also allows you to turn any router into a range extender. You got an old router lying around, turn it into a range extender. Don't throw it away. It gives you uh, performance graphs that you can use to monitor the overall performance of your network and much more. And I'm totally using a cheat sheet here because there are so many features of DDWRT that make it a huge advantage to install it over a stock firmware. Now there are some precautions that you have to take before flashing DDWRT to your router. So this is an aftermarket firmware. Putting it on your router could potentially void your warranty. You also need to make very, very sure that it is compatible with your device. In many cases, even looking up the model number on the dd-wrt.com database is not enough because some revisions of the same router might be compatible while others may not. You also have to ensure that your router is set completely to default before you flash anything and you do not disturb it while the update is running. This can cause your router to become completely bricked and since you voided your warranty, you're pretty much out of luck. I would even recommend having it hooked up to some kind of a reliable power source such as a UPS while you are running the update as with any kind of firmware update. So you also want to make sure that you download the right file. So you will run into trouble if you get the wrong version of DDWRT for your router and that would be bad. Now we're going to show you guys step by step how we're upgrading our Linksys E3200 to the advanced DDWRT firmware. So the first thing we're going to do is go into administration factory defaults and restore the factory defaults of the router. This is a very important step before we go any further. Now the next step is to simply go to the firmware upgrade section of our router, navigate to the file, the correct file that we download from dd-wrt.com, and click Start Upgrade. The process will take a little while. And that was pretty much it. That's the whole process. You can see now when we go to our router's IP address, which is 192.168.1.1 with the same default password of admin, now we have a completely different control panel that greets us. We can see the version of the firmware we're using. We can see all the different tabs in the control panel. We can also see a dashboard here that shows us a bunch of cool stuff, including our wireless statistics, our router overview, as well as some other cool usage monitor stuff. So there's a bunch of cool things we can adjust that you don't even have access to, such as the uh, signal strength, how much power you're actually giving to your wireless network. So you can use DDWRT to take your router and give it an extra little boost of wireless among all the other things you can do. Now along that note, this is recommended for advanced users only. Not only is there the risk that you're going to brick your router, because it can happen, but a lot of these settings are not going to really have any benefit to a basic user. So, we've got a Linksys router here. It has a basic, easy to use interface on it. If you're not an advanced user, stick with that. If you want to get more out of your router and you don't mind tinkering with it a little bit, DDWRT is a great way to go, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this little episode about some of the few benefits of DDWRT, or a few of the many, rather, and how to upgrade. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips, and thanks for checking out this video from your favorite online retailer, NCIX.com.